10, uh, half is now 10, 11, yeah, uh, 11. Uh, uh, lots, yeah, yeah. <laughs> lots of it. I always forget my, I I forget my children's names. Oh. So you've had lots of experience. Uh, how's Kieran dealing with it? Because first time dad. He's so hands on. He helps with the night feeds. Um, I couldn't have asked for anything better. He's so good. And, you know, normally when you have a babe or something, you get a bit stressed with each other. We still haven't had an argument. Not that I'm saying we need to. <laughs> but you're considering all the stress we've been through. He's so laid back and it's just, it works really well, actually. Are you like me? I said earlier that in a row, I'll just say anything to end it because I hate having a row. Depends if I'm in the right or not. <laughs> Which, of I course, I'm always you know. in the right. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's difficult though when you, I mean, I know you, you're an experienced mum, but when you have a new baby, you know, it, it is a difficult time. You had an emotional time around the birth because you had an emergency cesarean oh, it's a nightmare. and oh. Kieran the right guy and everybody you don't know him that well because you do you know what's weird right it is weird we're married had a baby we haven't even been together a year work that out wow. <laughs> well exactly <laughs> nearly a year did you just know how, how did that happen well I didn't even want to meet anyone and anyway a friend introduced me to him because he's he's been wanting to know me for a year um, so anyway, we got talking on BBM. I don't know if any of you know BBM. Yeah. And then I kept deleting him, thinking, oh, I can't be bothered. So they rang me up and said, have you just deleted me? I went, oh, no, I didn't mean to. <laughs> and because he was so persistent, I thought, oh, I might as well just meet him. Mm. Just to get rid so of him? Yeah, just to <laughs> say, OK. And I met him, and that was it. Oh. Five Do weeks later in the Bahamas. Do you know what puzzles me crazy. about <laughs> you is that you are so independent, so self oh, it's a lovely photograph, yeah. isn't it? Uh, oh. So self sufficient. You don't need anybody to take care of you because you, you know you can look That's after it, yourself. Yeah. And yet, you have had a number of relationships, and it's been well documented yeah. in a short space of time. Have you ever thought, you know what? I, I'm not going to have a bloke for a while. I just I don't I want a bloke. I try to stay single, but it never happens. <laughs> <laughs> But then I'm the kind of person, hence why I've got so many animals and I like lots of children. I like to give lots of love and I obviously love to have it back. But you know, you only live once. Yes, it costs money to get married, but it costs more money to divorce. So I'm not <laughs> going to divorce this one. <laughs> Are you an only child? Have you got siblings? No, I've got, um, my mum and dad divorced when I was younger. So he's got two girls, and then I've got my brother and my sister, so... Maybe that's why you want lots of people around you, I was just thinking. Do you know, I've just always loved it. I still want more children now. Really? Don't you ever want a yeah. night when it's really quiet and there's just you there? No. <laughs> I do have that, because it's called getting your kids into a routine so you get your time at night. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like military at night. In the bath, wash your hair, pyjamas. Yeah. Like have you got your own system, or do you follow one of those gene of My own, my own system. Because yeah. when they get older, they get a bit more gobby, don't they? So yeah. don't listen. <laughs> It's so interesting seeing Simon Cowell in the paper today saying, you know, that he wants to, to call the baby Simon and he wants, yeah. you know, to sort of, almost it sounds like create the baby in his own image, to, you know, to teach him the rules of the business, etc. Yeah. In terms of your children, what kind of life would you like to see them having? Would you like to see them emulating you? Well, for me personally, I took them out of filming and doing photo shoots with them. Because as soon as they started school, I thought the trouble would start where people would recognise them on TV. So personally, myself, I don't do that. But their dad chooses to still put them in these show and photo mm. shoots, even though I've asked him not to. Um, so I do want the kids to grow up as their own independent, to be successful themselves, not on the back of us. Mm. So it's very hard when I don't talk to Pete and... It's complicated. But yeah. what career would you like them to have? Would you say to Princess, you know, be like me, be a successful person? Oh, no, woman? don't be in this industry. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, would, you yeah. say, would you say that? Would you well, it's so, off? like, two-faced, backstabbing. People try and rip you off, you know, and it's quite tough as well. Don't, well you it's must served know. you well, though, hasn't it? I am a proper grafter, and I haven't come from any family of money. I'm completely self-made. Mm. Um, yeah, I started off on page three. But I didn't know any different then, and, mm. you know, that was when I was 17, I'm 35 now, mm. and I still can't believe I'm still here. But if Princess came to you and said that someone had asked her to take her top off or to do glamour photos, what would you say to her? I think, which dirty old man wants you to do that? <laughs> <laughs> so, I'd help guide, I'd, well, yeah. What can you say? I don't think you can stop them doing it, you can but either... 